But first tonight, on point. This is when it matters. President Biden issued a stark warning last night. Quote, Putin is not joking when he talks about potential use of tactical nuclear weapons. I don't think there's any such thing as the ability to easily use a tactical nuclear weapon and not end without Armageddon. Armageddon, the word from the President of the United States. He went on to say it's more dangerous now than any time since the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis. That was 60 years ago, almost to the day. Inflation, gas prices, transgender bathrooms, BLM, legalizing pot, canceling student loans, the chip shortage, supply chain issues. Quite literally, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters if we are on the brink of nuclear war. This is when it matters. This is when what the president says, when every word is truly important. Yet his administration can't seem to get on the same page. Contrast what you just heard from the president last night, Armageddon, with his spokeswoman, the State Department spokeswoman, and his defense secretary this week. We have not seen any reason to adjust our own nuclear posture. And nor do we have any indication that Russia is preparing to eminently use uh, nuclear weapons. I don't see anything right now that, that would lead me to believe that he has made such a decision. The last one's a little interesting, since Lloyd Austin, the defense secretary, would authenticate any decision to launch America's nuclear weapons. Again, which is it? Are we near Armageddon or not? Was President Biden showing off for the DNC donors at that closed door meeting? Or was he finally saying the quiet part out loud, a warning of such? Today, he ignored reporters asking that he clear things up and quite literally jogged to Marine One and then headed out to events celebrating the Inflation Reduction Act. Again, are we near Armageddon or not? To be fair, we have been hard on this administration over messaging, say on, on high gas prices. His press secretary says the president is only responsible when prices go down. His energy secretary says buy a $60,000 electric car and you won't have to worry about gas prices. Others in the administration hint rising gas prices might actually be a good thing because people will transition to green energy. Fine. Who cares? That's politics. That's domestic politics. Vladimir Putin, though, and his cronies watch every word President Biden and his administration say. It's actually Putin's 70th birthday today. He's reportedly spending it inside a nuclear bunker. Right. Putin's nuclear arsenal is ready uh, as well. Their largest submarine, the largest nuclear submarine ever made, put to sea a few days ago. NATO doesn't know where it is. It hasn't been seen since. And just to sort of add a complicating factor, our ally, the president of Ukraine, just asked the United States to preemptively bomb Russia's nuclear arsenal. What should NATO do? Make it impossible for Russia to use nuclear weapons. We need preemptive strikes so that they know what will happen to them if they use them. Well, that's kind of crazy. No wonder the Russians are just a little bit frisky. In fact, U.S. stockpiles drugs used in nuclear radiological emergencies. That's one of the headlines from our website. It's all over the papers and the web. The Russians read American news stories as well. The federal government just bought hundreds of thousands of doses worth of radiation sickness drugs. But say, nothing's changed. What does the president of the United States do? He talks about Armageddon at a fundraiser and then jogs off to promote his domestic agenda. To be fair, this could be double underwater chess. Remember, former Ambassador John Bolton, the Republican, no fan of Biden, said the president needed to be clear with Putin. We should say publicly that if Putin did authorize the use of a nuclear weapon, he would be signing his own suicide note. And in a way, Mr. Biden just said that, right? A veiled warning, perhaps, to Russian military commanders. The use of a nuclear weapon in Ukraine, no matter how small, would bring a U.S. response. That's significant. And we can believe that, even give Mr. Biden the benefit of the doubt, if today the White House said the president's words speak for themselves and left it there. But they didn't do that. The White House scrambled to clarify today. This is from the usually left-leaning Politico, how they phrase it. Clean up on aisle Biden, their words, not ours. 
After President Joe Biden's nuclear Armageddon comments rocked the world Thursday, a White House official tells Semaphore's Morgan Shalafant that they weren't driven by any new assessment of the situation in Ukraine or Russia. So we've been near Armageddon for how long? Weeks? Months? Who knows? They won't tell us. It is a far, far cry from President Kennedy 60 years ago, almost to the day. It was the Cuban Missile Crisis, and he made things crystal clear. Shall be the policy of this nation to regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba against any nation in the Western Hemisphere as an attack by the Soviet Union on the United States, requiring a full retaliatory response upon the Soviet Union.